looks like there's basically nothing going on here um, from the front, but um, basically we've got a number of controls in addition to the piano keys. We've got we've got 13 piano keys, so we've got we've got C3 to C4, um, all keys covered um, on this section of the tie, um, and we also have buttons up here. We have three buttons that are um, modulation buttons. There's a uh, there's a slider on the back of the tie um, that you can grab with your thumb. And that does different things depending on which buttons you're holding down. So it defaults to <coughs> control and volume, but you can also control the mix of the two synthesizers, the mix of the uh, the delay and reverb, um, and the modulation on the synthesizer. And I think we just added the capability of controlling the filter resonance and the LFO rate of the uh, subtractor module. And we also have two buttons in the back that are um, octave switches, so you can like transpose yourself. Um, sort of modeled after the Yamaha wind controller thing, because um, that's right back. You rest your thumbs on them, and you can sort of roll up and down. We got um, mini switches, and we got like a, a cardboard backing. And so uh, the mini switches have two leads and two plastic uh, prods for alignment. And so we had to punch out four holes using the the uh, sharpness of the leads to align it. And then we were able to mount all the switches, um, and then we used this wonderful ribbon cable to make sort of like a, a wiring backbone, which you can partially see. 16 switches on the front and two switches in the slider on the back. We have uh, two 10 conductor ribbon cables and one 3 conductor and one bare wire from a mistake. Um, <laughs> and that um, gets uh, connected to these gray ribbon cables which we found, which are a 16 conductor and a 10 conductor. Um, and those go back to the box. You know, you have control over volume, um, you can mix in the piano and take it out. Um, we have a reverb that you can bring in and out. Uh, a delay. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, the alpha. Bring in the alpha. of the patch we get all our no dins and we send their velocities over to wherever we need them to go and we use this little send velocity tool to keep it clean. Um, so we've just got a, a case select statement determining which buttons are pushed and they're wired in so that the ones which are notes go one way and the ones which are control buttons go a different way. So here has this flush command which keeps us from getting stuck notes <coughs> as we switch octaves because if you switch octaves while you're holding a key down you might get a stuck note because there's no note off ever sent. Here, this accumulate command takes care of our um, octave. It keeps track of what octave you're on. It also has some logic built in there. So even if you push the octave up button 60 times, um, it's only going to be at its maximum octave that it can play. And the next time you push it down, um, it'll just go down the octave below. So you don't have to worry about uh, having to push down 60 times. And here is the control um, patch. And uh, we've set it up so that you can do all eight combinations, all buttons open slider comes in and gets pumped out and depending on how this logic works determines which setting you're trying to change and pumps them up. We have a combinator so we could uh, mix <coughs> the several sounds on one channel um, and so we just our subtractor patch we just picked a pad and um, we have it mixed with a, a piano sound and then we just have our reverb and delay with a mixer and then so we have all of them set up on six different channels up top, so that way we can modify either all of them as a whole or each one in the combinator individually.